what is people this is getting welcome and the first thing I'd like to do is thank the sim standard for their support you know I am highly honored by any one of those guys that uh, show presence on my videos and you know I'm extremely honored the fact that they put together a video showcasing my video and explaining everything and uh, liking my video favoriting it so you get more exposure awesome I, I can't thank you guys enough thank you um, we are all a community we're all fighting the same fight um, I thank you all the viewers who liked it and disliked it because you know obviously you looked at the video but anyway this video will be showcasing and explaining the different types of tackles that's lacking in EA football games okay double hit tackles consecutive hit tackles and real-time physics okay first we're gonna be looking at some real NFL footage right real you cannot dispute it it's real it's what really happens in real life and this is the standard okay this is the whole point of the sim standard um, they want these game companies to be held accountable and to make games with the standard of real life not the standard of the last game that they came out with right damn he just got hit Woo! Chris Johnson got rocked right there by a um, consecutive and double hit tackle at the same time okay right here Peyton Hillis picked him up on my fantasy league big pickup anyway double hit tackles we're gonna start right now consist of two defenders at the same time attempting to tackle the ball carrier all across the board Madden has this in the game NCAA has it but it shows it more I think it's a lot more consistent in NCAA that's why I'm showing you the footage from NCAA the new trailer right because honestly they did show a lot like three double hit tackles and you know it looks pretty good consecutive hit tackles okay big difference when the ball carrier is tackled by one or more players and another defender that was not part of the initial contact is now interacting and affecting the outcome by their own tackle while the first would-be tacklers are still in contact with the ball carrier consecutive one right after the other right Madden NFL 11 Woo. this game does not have consecutive hit tackles enough in the game for me to even wor warrant the fact that it has to even think it has it in there. it doesn't this is what we see all the time a, 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 a ball carry gets tackled from behind and anybody else they mean nothing you know apex always says they are poster ornaments right they mean nothing they're just there for show mean nothing okay all pro football came out 2007 somewhat of a recent game right this just to prove to you that it can be done in any game today okay the running back gets tackled low first 21 he whiffs the tackle fine whatever he missed that that's not good I would think that he would make the tackle but the other two defenders jump on his back end of story done he's falling down he's not going further anymore they impede his progress another play a throw tight end across the middle if tackled high 32 comes in cleans up the play just like what you just saw in the real football okay next game the holy grail of football the blueprint of any simulated football game they really need to make another 2k5 I mean not need to I know they want to but they can't alright another that's another story he gets tackled gets ran over and then another defender comes in to stop it consecutive hit tackles right that's all we want the future of gaming real-time physics the future right now every and all situations are simulated in real time on the fly this results in lifelike animations and outcomes the better the programming the more realistic the motions interactions and actions will appear one game has this one game is only built on real-time physics and guess what that is fellas you know what it is I ain't even gotta say it but I am anyway <laughs> backbreaker football okay Bright Baker football is the only football game or only sports game who's built up by real-time physics not featuring real-time physics it's a big difference this is what I mean clear path to the goal line to the touchdown but guess what he gets tripped on he buckles knees with another defender and he falls into 
the end zone. It does not get much more simulated than that. That's why I say uh, Backbreaker was a simulated game, not an arcade game. It may look arcade-ish, right? But it was a simulated game because it had real-time physics. Real-time physics does not only apply to tackles, right? This is me. I'm running. I, I, I get knocked over or I knock over my offensive lineman and defensive lineman, okay? Any and everything can happen. It's live, okay? Here, you're going to see a triple tackle. You're going to see consecutive hit tackles, double hit tackles, and you're going to see real-time physics, obviously, because it's real-time physics, right? All those things all wrapped up into one. Beautiful. All right? Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing. Please, please, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Got more videos on the way. Thank you very much. Uh, again, to the Sim Standard. And I uh, hope everybody have a, a blessed weekend, blessed day, blessed weekend, whatever, blessed week, whatever. Thanks. I'm out. Peace.